Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a crackle effect on your fabric using the starch resist. Starch is something that you normally put on fabric when you want to iron it to make it stiff. It reminds me of my granny. I don't know that you get it that easily that often these days, but anyway, you can find it. I've taken about two teaspoons of starch. I've mixed it with some water and then I've microwaved it on high at 20 second interval, stirring in between just so that it becomes more transparent and it becomes this thicker, goopier kind of substance. So in order to do the crackle, I'm going to take a piece of cotton, which is completely free of any starch. So that means that when it's bought at the shop, it often has a glaze on it, um, known as size, just to make it look good on the roll. And you need to rinse this out of your fabric, just in plain, cool water, just to get all that size out. Otherwise, you've already got something that's going to prevent the starch from penetrating the fabric. Okay, so you can see it applies very smoothly and very evenly over the fabric. I do find it's easier to work with the starch while it is still slightly warm. As it gets cooler, it gets a bit thicker and it's not as easy to brush, but it doesn't mean to say you can't just put a little bit more water with it and pop it in the microwave. So this goes on very, very easily. Put it on a piece of newspaper if it's a smaller thing so that you can move it out of the way when you want to carry on and it will take a little bit of time to dry. So I will set this aside for maybe an hour or two and leave this to dry completely. Right, so the next part of the process is um, taking my piece of fabric, which has now got my dried starch on. I've taken it in my hand and I've crumpled it up. And you need to squeeze this fairly tightly. This is so that you can actually crack the surface of the starch because you want your paint to penetrate that. And I have some um, deep blue paint here, which I have mixed up on my little disposable palette. And I've got a sponge. And the reason I'm using a sponge is because it's easy to press down into the fabric and push the paint into the cracks. It slips quite nicely on the fabric, so you'll find that the actual applying of the paint is really easy. And if you've got a huge background to do, this is a very, very easy way to finish your background area. Um, I know that we often paint it here where I live. We painted tablecloths in the center. And then by the time it came to the borders, we're thinking, oh, I'm so over this, I just want to get done. And this kind of crackle effect is quite a nice contrast to any painted design. So we're pushing the paint into the cracks. You can already see where some of the cracks are being colored by the actual paint. If you're uncertain, you can tip over and you can have a look from the reverse, but you just need to let your paint settle into the fabric but need to put pressure on while you're applying it so that you're pushing it into the cracks because some of the cracks will be quite fine <clears throat> and um, if you are just brushing it on it's not going to be so easy to squeeze the paint into those fine cracks. Once this has been completely covered you need to leave it to set aside to dry and then while it when it is dried, sorry, you need to then iron on the back with a hot dry iron. That is just to set the colour into the fabric. So it's pretty much like when you have a stain on a t-shirt, you iron it and you only get it out. The same with the fabric paint. So you could put a piece of um, old cloth or a piece of paper over the surface of this if you were scared about your ironing board. And then when that ironing process has been done and the colour is now fixed into your fabric, you just simply put this in a bowl of water and the starch dissolves and you can gently rub off the starch so that the cracks will be revealed. I've done crackle using um, some other mediums. Please have a look on my playlist and then I'm going to be doing a video showing you the different mediums side by side, talking about my experience, how I found each one, which one I liked best, etc. And I hope that that will be useful to you too. Okay, bye for now.